suspended animation. The sci-fi flick 2001 A Space Odyssey imagined it as humans hibernating in pods. In the real world, a scrappy fish undergoes it, or something like it, to survive dried up ponds. The African turquoise killifish jolts to life following a phase called diapause. It's a state of suspended development that helps organisms survive extreme environments. Diapause exists among other vertebrates, such as roe deer, bears, and even lab mice. And it has led scientists to wonder, do organisms age at all during the process? New research into African killifish has shown that its period of diapause during embryo development has no negative effects on the lifespan of a fully developed adult. Turns out, the African killifish is a perfect candidate to help answer the diapause lifespan conundrum. Its short lifespan of four to six months coincides with the wet seasons in countries like Mozambique and Zimbabwe. So the African killifish species has evolved to have its embryos enter diapause so that they survive the extreme dryness that follows these rainy periods. Unlike in mammals, killifish embryos grow outside of the animal's body, which makes them easier to experiment on. For their experiment, scientists established two groups, one that hatched without entering diapause and one that hatched after experiencing five months diapause. Surprisingly, after hatching, both groups lived roughly the same length of time, which led the researchers to conclude that diapause had little to no deleterious effects. Past research discovered that diapause delayed aging with invertebrates, such as insects and the worm C. elegans. But this African killifish research is unique, since the killifish is a vertebrate. After observing how diapause occurs naturally in killifish, the researchers went the extra mile. They investigated how the perturbation of specific genes might affect the embryos during diapause. They found that knocking out a gene called CBX7 caused embryos to fail to maintain diapause, highlighting the importance of specific genes in maintaining this suspended state. The researchers believe these findings could help discover general mechanisms that preserve cells, such as stem cells, for long periods of time. This could also inform strategies to combat aging and age-related diseases. In other words, studying how the African killifish pauses its clock during development could perhaps identify ways to adjust the aging clock in other species, including humans.